Hello guys and welcome back to Chellington. Now then, in today's episode, I'm just going to be finishing off the, well, just be finishing off this field pretty much. Um, almost done. Not much left to do. Um, I'm thinking possibly one more trailer after this. Well, <coughs> well, we'll need one more trailer after this and then that'll be that. Which will be quite good. Um, another well, we've got the other John Deere just pulling into the farm now. Which is quite good, actually. Um, this is at 65... Well, it was. 70%-ish. Um, so, I mean, there's not much left. I'm tempted to say that I won't even need that other tractor. So once I see the numbers of that start going down, then I will, in fact... Well, stop completely and well, possibly wait to see if I need that. I'm hoping that I don't. Don't know what it's doing now. Um. Okay. To run me anymore. Um, right. I have a feeling that I won't need that. Right. Where's. I didn't set a wait point for that. We'll stop there, mate. Right, uh, yeah. Don't think I'll need that other trailer. Well, I don't think I'll need this trailer. Um, leave that on there. Hmm. 83% it could be that I just will end up wasting a little bit that's down here hope I don't uh, yeah it looks like it's what's gonna happen um, I could do that last little trailer um, anyway we'll have to get this last little bit up so it doesn't just sit there rotting. Because that's what would actually happen. Trailer's full, so there's no point in really us doing this anymore with that trailer, so. Simply doing this just so that when it comes to me dealing with this field next time, having it all cut, this looks a bit neat. Don't really want to leave any in the field. I do with having a trailer on the back of here, really. Just for them moments where I don't have a tractor. silly thing where it just goes round. I honestly don't know what's up with this. And it does this. To fold that up. so slow. <laughs> hmm, well, almost done actually, it's 
quite nice to see. Just got to tip this and then we're completely done. Uh, what's happening there? That would be because I hit the hedge. I'll leave the gates open, it's only a grass field. The uh, worst thing that can happen is the word caravans get parked on there. Now, how have I managed to get this stuck? Oh uh, no. Let's reset it. Um, ooh, actually, I didn't want it to do that. Oh well. I have to do it now, won't I? Um, that John Deere is apparently done. The crawler tractor. Let's get in there. Yes, it has. So. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Tiny bit left, which it missed. Of course it did, but oh well. It's like quite a nice film, actually, like this. How do we get out of this field? There. I'll just leave this here actually. Deal with it all afterwards. In fact, because that has actually got something in, I need to tip that out. This truck just caked in mud. I like the way the roof clean, but what we were doing, it wouldn't necessarily cover it in mud or dirt or dust, whatever it's trying to imply. Cover it in grass. Incredibly full tray like that. I have in fact forgotten to get thumbnails for every video since so I'll have to get them. Uh, I'll grab a thumbnail now. I think I did actually, I possibly got one. Uh, in fact, no, it was just one video which I forgot, so I'll just do one of them. There we go. I'll have to do that now. Compact it. Where do I keep these, though? That's the question. Think, just keep them there. Um, see how close I can get that to the wall without it going onto that grass bit. Yeah, that's fine. This tray was surprisingly clean, actually. Tempted actually to compact that, get it blanked in, and move it into that clamp. Because then, uh, effectively, then we we'll free up a clamp, don't we? It'll probably make it a bit easier if we need more feed. I 
just keep that in there. So the two, two John Dits. In fact, we've got three now, haven't we? I will leave the front weights on these. Because they are kind of useful. And I'm also going to get that delivered back here as well. Because this is really quite good at compacting that kind of thing. Must have some bigger machinery here. So I want to see can I put that on that little JCB? So if I can then possibly going to use this a bit more. So hope I can. No. Ah, unfortunate. And as well, if we do end up getting cattle, which I'm pretty sure I am going to do, um, well, I'll possibly even give myself the money to get the cattle, which I well, which it didn't transfer over from last time. Um, so I think, oh, like two hundred thousand pounds? No, two hundred fifty thousand pounds for a hundred cows. I think. Yeah. Hang on, how full is that other clamp, actually? If it has less than that, or oh, 8% I'll move that into here, I think, actually. Um, so, I've been blanketed. Move my John Deere out of the way. Oh, I'm amazed as well. Gets this dirty on the inside up there, just around the frame. So, I'll have to get drilling soon, I think. And that field is possibly going to be maize, I think. Oh, sugar beets, something like that. No point in cleaning that, it's only going to get dirty next time. <laughs> I really do like driving this, like driving a tank effectively is a tank. Really a long tractor as well. What did I do there? Um, right, so we need to wash off these. Tank, it's caked there. As soon as that goes jet black, we'll never clean. Still dirty? No. Front weight, that can be cleaned, I think. But it's not cleaning itself, why? It is very slowly, though. Front weights can come off them. Front weights will be stored there. It's a tad easier to get to. Up 
park all the John Deere's in here. Hand over, you have to be moved. Let's be washed first. Um, so pretty much the rest of this episode, I don't really know what I can do. Uh, pretty much. Main thing was I was going to drive all the equipment back. But I had to reset it as it all got stuck. Um, so yeah. Nice clean job it is. I'm possibly going to buy myself another tractor. I don't know. So I, although that crawler tractor is good, it's speed again. 32 mile an hour. Sorry, 26 I think that thing goes. Not as fast as I'd like it. I uh, would like it a bit faster, you know. There is my John Deere fleet. How reflexive do you want to make this tractor? Wow. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's the only part that gets dirty, the tracks, which you can walk through. <laughs> Funny tractor. Right. So that's been blanketed. Oh, I have no crops that I can, well I, I can survive or make or I can get again. Um so fast forward time, a couple of days. Just make sure that I have no crops actually. Yep, nothing. Um Sort of time, see how fast that's going, 93, 100% done. Right, so let's move that. In fact, sorry, one with 8% into the one with 16%. Oh, I've just backed into the haystack, I don't want to do that. Going to attempt to move everything to the back of this clamp. I'm going to use my keyboard for this actually, it's a bit easier than the steering wheel. Sorry if I don't talk as well as I'm doing that, as <laughs> I'm concentrating quite a lot. Let's get it done fairly quickly. Take not that long, I'm hoping. Oh, 
never really drive this room in the cab. So I always kind of, it's, it's the way as well that this game works. <clears throat> and as well the way that this bucket works. You have to kind of go at an angle to get it on. Just record a course, in fact. <clears throat> so, loading will be that position. Oh, I've done this wrong. Um, yeah, I've done it wrong. Oh well. <laughs> I was hoping I'd have that done, but no. see anything I'm doing. Effectively want this clamp full as well. I think it would make it a lot better if I had a full one of these. So about 100 cows are going to eat through a lot. This doesn't usually last that long. Although I did sell some of the silage from that clamp over there, I did in fact think that I'd possibly need a lot more after I'd sold it. It's getting quite steep as well, which kind of means that this front part is getting lower and lower, which is good what I need. <laughs> Almost done actually, doing this. Ah, uh, no, need that higher when I go up. And so Get that last little bit off the front there. Really do a four wheel drive on here. I need it there. The reason why I've done that is so that well, pretty much I can get up with that silage that's in here. As I need 
a bit of a ramp really. Actually, I might just do that. <laughs> if it works. It's going up. Why not? Nice actually. But I can do this. How much is left in here? Three percent. Not much at all. Only good in a way. <laughs> it goes down a lot. Too low in a second. Nice, so that is that clamp empty. Sort out the other one. Just a second. Get rid of that ramp type thing which I made. Because what I want to move up goes. So, what I am going to do, in fact, let's put it over the side here. Highly unrealistic, but at least it gets it where I want it. Right, so that is that sorted. have our rather full clamp with what 25% in it so it's quite nice and have our empty clamp ready for the next bit of silage we do so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video as it really does help and I'll see you next time goodbye